Let's bring in CBS News immigration and politics reporter Camilo Montoya Galvez, who's following the Trump campaign. Uh, Camilo, you're in Springfield, Ohio, which of course became a major focal point because of the comments uh, from uh, Senator Vance and former President Trump about Haitian immigrants. Uh, Vance has not backed down from those comments in any interviews that he's done. Uh, what are the residents telling you about what that kind of scrutiny and that kind of language, that kind of hateful language has done to folks in the community? Good morning, Vlad. To date, J.D. Vance has yet to correct the record about his comments about the Haitian community here in Springfield, Ohio. And obviously, he has been giving a lot of oxygen to false claims that Haitian immigrants here were eating or harming pets by local residents, saying that constituents of his were calling his office reporting this. But of course, those claims have been not only debunked and disproven by local authorities here in Springfield, by, but also by Republican lawmakers in the state, including Governor DeWine, who was, of course, a Republican and who is supporting Vance and former President Donald Trump in this election. And in addition to those incendiary claims, Vance has also called the Haitian immigrants here, Vlad, illegal aliens, despite the fact that these are immigrants who enter the country lawfully and are in the U.S. legally under Biden administration programs that allow people to enter the country lawfully. One of those programs allows Haitians and other nationalities to fly here to the U.S. if they have American-based sponsors and they come here legally. And the other program allows people in Mexico to get an appointment to be processed legally at an official border crossing along the U.S.-Mexico border. And both of these policies, Vlad, allow people to work here lawfully. And they are coming here, Vlad, because not so long ago, Springfield was a town in economic decline, and there are many job openings here. And Make no mistake, there are real challenges here. There has been a sudden and sharp increase in Haitian arrivals here, and that has strained local resources. The schools, of course, Vlad, have to absorb children from Haiti who don't speak English for the most part. Local hospitals and affordable housing here are limited, and so those are real policy challenges, and there is a legitimate policy debate to have about those issues, but of course, the more incendiary claims have been debunked, are not true, and can be dangerous, as we saw with the threats that many of the buildings here, including schools, received after those claims surfaced online. And so it, it's unclear if J.D. Vance will correct the record, Vlad, but we here at CBS News will certainly try to do that. Yeah, and there's something else I want to ask you about, uh, Camilo, with regards to that, is you cover immigration and you know this very, very well. It's not the point that is being made that there are city resources that are being strained in Springfield, Ohio. Of course they are whenever you absorb a large influx of immigrants. The question is the, the specific type of language that was used specifically with regards to Haitians, which you don't see, for example, when, for example, Ukrainians or other Europeans uh, uh, decide to settle in a particular town in the United States. Uh, and you know as well as I do, you probably know better than I do, that we've seen immigrants not just from countries that are black countries like uh, Haiti or countries in Africa. There are Europeans uh, and others uh, from Latin and Central America who are coming into the United States as well, but you don't see that type of language being utilized, at least not in your reporting. If you haven't covered any type of language similar to what we heard from Trump and Vance about Haitian immigrants. No, that is an excellent point. Unbeknownst to most Americans, Vlad, the U.S. has resettled tens of thousands of Ukrainian refugees following the start of the war and the Russian invasion there. And that has provoked little backlash and little political outcry. Former President Donald Trump and J.D. Vance have not talked about refugees from Ukrainian, from Ukraine, rather, posing these same challenges. So it is an inconsistent messaging that these candidates have had about immigrants, depending on where they are from, for sure. Well, uh, thank you so much for clearing the record for us, as always, my friend. Appreciate your reporting. Thank you.